Hey guys, go to boy 32 here. Check it out, man. This is the Master Lock little security box. Pick this thing up at Lowe's for $39.99. She's on sale this week. Stand by. Check it out, man. We got this little deal here. I was walking through Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse the other day with my sister and uh, ran into a stack of these things. This is the Master Lock. This is their medium size security safe. And uh, these things were on sale for $39 a piece. So I went ahead and picked up one for her as a Christmas present. She does like to carry a gun. And I picked two up for me, one to keep out of town, one to keep in town. But uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take this a look at this thing. We're gonna go ahead and do a box opening real quickly and show you what it looks like pretty much and then uh, see what's, how it operates. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do a little boxy thing here. Now again, one of the things about these little safes right here, they make for a good little travel case. Uh, also, if you've got a, a place you want to store your firearm while you're not using it, again, these make for a great little deal. And, it, and that's one of the reasons why I bought it. I mean, it's not going to be one of those things where you're going to complete security. It's not a fire box, but it is a secure box you can keep things in for a short period of time. So let me do this. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it out. Let's see how we're looking. All right, so it does have the holes in the bottom of it so that you can, so you can see those holes, there we go. You can see the holes so you can screw it to the floor if you need to. There are screw holes in the back of it. Right there, one and two. And that's basically it. Now I haven't opened this thing at all. And what I wanna do is also show you in a See, for instance, here's a firearm and show you basically what we can do with it. Now we'll go ahead and figure out how to open the thing real quickly and then we'll go from there. Here we go. So it does come with some instructions here and a quick, I can't understand a single word, para, cajars, proyectos, con, carrero, no, oh, no wonder I can't understand that. Let's open this thing up and, well, there we go. Let's see if they got a quick guide here. Security safe. Register your master lock product for key secure locks. All right, so this thing comes with two keys, just like that. I'm guessing that they are going to go right here. And wouldn't it be interesting if these didn't actually work? There we go. And the nice thing about this thing is it does have these two big ass bolts in there. So at least you know you got some going on there. All right, so save that thing right there. Take a look at the inside. It's got a little bit of a carpet surface right there. Also the hardware screws that you need to anchor the thing and hex heads. So uh, you can go ahead and use a wrench, ratchet to screw it into the wall or to a floor surface. Now it's got an anti-pry door, which I guess helps eliminate somebody being able to get in there. But guys, the whole reason I got this thing is for $39, it's a pretty neat little secure box. And you know what? And to safeguard your valuables, whatever, while you're uh, just want something to put into a cabinet, this thing's not bad. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to program the door. I don't know if I got any batteries or not, but <laughs> we'll see. Hey guys, just one real quick thing. These are the keys. Keep these with you, okay, out of the safe. Now, Amazon sells one just like this on Century, it's almost identical. And a lady said, how do you get it open without the keys because the batteries died and she put the keys in it with her jewelry? Not smart, all right? Keep these out. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and install the batteries. And you're gonna do that when you get this thing open, you're gonna see this little slider here. So we're gonna push that to the side and open it up and you'll see that these little battery things are right here. Now, one of the things you want to make sure is do not use rechargeable batteries. Just get your good old Duracell, Energizer, Bunny, batteries, whatever you got. All right. And you're going to line these things up just like you would any other positive, negative, negative, positive. Put the batteries in just like that. 
Here we go. Bang. Okay. All right, guys. Now that we've got the batteries installed, one of the things you want to do is there's this little button and it's located right there. And what you want to do, that's the key button that you're going to use to push and then you're going to enter in the combination that you want to put on here. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on so I don't lose my batteries, but I'm going to leave that thing exposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it. Okay. Cover that. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, press the pound button. All right. So what that does now is that locks it. You want to unlock it, you go one, two, three, four, pound. There you go. She's unlocked. Let's do that one more time, guys. Ready? So we're going to close the thing. We're going to lock it up. We're going to go. Open it up. Close it back. There it is. It's locked. It won't do anything. One, two, three, four. There you go. All right. So I tell you what, for just a good economical little security box, I won't say this is a safe. This is more of a security box. Not a bad little deal. Let me show you what a gun looks like inside because most of my viewers, well, you're going to be putting a gun inside this thing. Okay, here we go. All right, so now what we got? We got this thing right here. She's secured up right there. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. There it is. We can open it up. Open her up. Now, you got your little XDM. You can put in there. You got a little TriStar. We can put in there just like that. Or if you wanted to, you can actually stack these things up. You close them up. Put them in there. Lay them down. However you want. A little P320. Put it in there just like that. You got a bunch of guns in there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyway, a lot of stackable space. Uh, it's a very nice sized uh, little box, and that's one of the reasons why I do like it. Go ahead and close it up. Boom. And you can actually hear it function as it closes up behind itself. And you can put some little doors, little uh, rubber pieces, silicone pieces right here. Keep that thing from uh, rattling back and forth. But I tell you what, not a bad little deal. Good little security box. Secure it wherever you're going. Put it inside of a cabinet. And that way, you know, your little hands, little people in the family can't get up in there. So go to Boy32. If you get any questions about this little deal, $39 at Lowe's right now. Not a bad little deal. God bless red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Good boy 32. Ow. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Keep those keys out of there, okay? <laughs>